Good morning, welcome back to Manchester. I'm so glad that my first clip of the day is none other than Charlie Veach Show legend. Go music, man! Take it easy, dude. You're still not a tram police car. Don't know why you're trying. Oh, I'm getting tooted at myself. Because he, he really is a tram. That's going back. Ah, classic gambling place. Someone lost a bit of money and smashed the doors. But you know what? It gives great business for all the glass people of Manchester. Would you like to give a quick plug for your business? Oh, it's Timpson Locks. Well, yeah. Timpson's Locks. Look at that smile on his face. Have a good weekend. What do you think, guys? Indonesian Air, Malaysia Air, Singapore Airlines, Cafe Pacific. Let me see if I can see any... Uh, Sorry guys, what airline is it? Singapore Airlines. Singapore, best country in the world. Uh, you guys have got a very good president, so he yeah. takes good care of the country. We hear good things. Prime Minister. Prime Minister, is that what it is? Yeah. Thank you guys. Cheers. Thank you. You've been there? I haven't. My brother worked there for a while. Uh, I will do. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, welcome to Oxford Road, Studentville. I'm very careful not to get hit by the cyclists here. But we're at the Kimpton clock tower hotel one of the premier hotels in manchester and i just want to show you guys the flag they fly permanently alongside the union jack now the one on the left is a flag of a country a union of four countries and the flag on the right is a discredited ideology that will probably go the way of lobotomy um you know, and other strange treatments, thalidomide, like, oh yeah, great idea, until they find out it's not a good idea. I think that is a very dangerous flag and it should be taken down. In fact, why are they still flying it? I went in and spoke with the managers there and I explained how the National Health Service has uh, withdrawn support for this uh, treatment and uh, they may want to review flying a controversial political flag outside a private establishment which will make many people not book with them. Here is the view of Oxford Road still and from that moment onwards no private cars allowed. Hello! Honda Civic Type R with uh, what I believe to be Japanese writing on it. V600, yeah! He's even got that little hook. He's even got the little hook to pull him out of a ditch because he's such an authentic racing driver. I just want to know. I just really want to know. What are you turning around look at me for, crackhead? I truly want to know if Honda Boy is going to go straight on and get himself a ticket. No, he's going left. He knows better. I can feel the left-wing socialist communist feelings. Angry young people of low status wanting to dislodge the primates that control the troop. So... Due to the crackheads, I've watched Manchester Glass Limited grow from a small sole trader into a multi-billion pound international company just on the back of crackheads smashing shop windows and those guys getting called to repair it. To our right, this building here is the University of Manchester Students' Union and they vote for a president, they do events, they've got subsidised drinks, subsidised food, gender neutral toilets, mm -mm -mm, they've got all the good stuff. And I see a lot of uh, super bright colored hair, dyed hair, a la poison dart frog toxicity. But fair enough. Anyway, my prediction is they're queuing for a concert. It's a Friday night. They're all looking a bit alternative. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Oh, the Faculty of Arts. But I prefer Lawnmower Man! Go on, Lawnmower Man! Christie's Cafe, eh? Whitworth Hall. I've never been in this end, so uh, I'm curious. Curious. Speaking of curious, it's better than being furious. Hmm, 
Something's not feeling like 60 frames per second. I need to review this. Okay, we're getting there. Or not allowed. Or yeah, from that angle, it's even worse. Not allowed, and it's not the only one. They're everywhere. Or not allowed. Or not allowed. There's the uh, venerable John Scrotum. Great guy. Massive set of gonads on him. I like it a lot. Well, hello. Here we go. Wow. Yes. Wait. Wait. In the event of a firearms or weapons attack, run, hide, tell. Well, yeah. Yes, run, hide, and tell. So, this is Whitworth Hall. Very nice. Universities are very much publicly funded as well as somewhat student funded. Now, I'm looking at these heaters. I've had to take my jumper off. It's 16 degrees Celsius. It's nice and warm outside. And they're pumping out, fuck me, extremely hot air using very old electrical heaters that uh, someone has to pay for it. Okay, I want to say this with absolute respect for the Paralympians. It's very inspiring what they do, but today... I learned that people in wheelchairs are still taller than dwarves. Very important information, that. There we go, just off Oxford Road, you've got Northumbria Police. What are they doing here? What team's that? Spain? Barcelona? The old warehouses here on Lower Chatham Street. Foreground traffic warden and nondescript global homo building. There's some pretty big housing construction and uh, office, con just what we need. More pointless commercial space when everyone's working from home. Although they shouldn't, you'll get passed over for promotion. True, if you're not turning up at your job every day and showing eagerness, the boss is going to be like, no, nah, I'll give it to... Uh, David from Warsaw, who actually has a good work ethic. Colorful sight. The reds, purples, greens. But then the sky, totally gray. Although, it's not raining, so I should celebrate that at least. Go on, bike man. Okay, welcome back to St. Peter's Square. Well, Lloyd Street to be totally exact. Um, I've just walked here and there's an extreme smell of urine and decay. I wonder why. Where is he? There he is, the woke hipster final boss, guys. Tactical response. He's not even a policeman. I think the lady's lost her contact lens. Yeah, definite contact lens. Or um, she hit the hookah pipe a bit too hard. 